and I expect today as we wait to hear more news about plans for uh, the days and the week ahead, uh, we will see more people arriving here at Balmoral to lay flowers, uh, paying tribute to a queen who meant so much to them, to this local community, um, and of course, uh, a place that the queen loved so well. Back to you in the studio. Anita, thank you very much. Now, thousands of people descended on Buckingham Palace yesterday in order to lay flowers and pay tribute. More people are expected today, and our correspondent Jane Hill has been there since the early hours of this morning. And Jane, we were talking when it was dark, and there were still people there determined to pay their respects, and you've seen it's getting much more busy now. Really quite something in the last hour, hour and a half or so, Naga, Many, many hundreds of people here outside the gates at Buckingham Palace. A lot of people clearly on their way to work, leaving flowers. And my goodness, I have to tell you, in the last half an hour, uh, I had an opportunity finally to, to go over and stand by the gates myself to look at some of the flowers, to read some of the messages. It was so incredibly moving because when you actually get right up to the gates, it is almost silent. It is so, so quiet. Lots of people taking photos, as you would expect, but equally, so many people just standing quietly, reading the messages, looking at the flowers, and just quietly thinking, thinking about what today means. I've seen people in tears, men and women in tears, people of all generations are there. That's one of the things that really strikes you. And when you read a lot of the messages on the cards, there's a theme of essentially Thank you for always being there. That theme that we will think about and talk about so much in the coming days. One card read, you are the only monarch I have ever known. I really thought you were invincible. And that is the point this morning, isn't it? That we are all waking up and, and coming to terms with. There are so many people across the UK, across the Commonwealth, who have only known one monarch. And that really, I think, is, is just sinking in. It's quite beautiful actually when you stand at the gates there it's really quite special and we saw many many thousands of people come here last night to Buckingham Palace and our correspondent Tim Muffet was there and was talking to some of the people who wanted to come an event we all knew would come one day but for so many one that is so profoundly sad this is heartbreaking absolutely heartbreaking what did she mean to you the queen means everything to me like my mum means to me she was a fantastic lady she'll always be a fantastic lady she'll always be a part of my life forever and i'll never forget her. she meant a lot to me um for someone my age i've got quite old grandparents they were born in the 1917 and 22 so she was part of their lives too so talking to them they they knew her growing up and she, she it takes a thread back to that sort of era and now i hear people talking about a king and a coronation and it puts conversations i have with them in my head of when they would talk about a king a coronation so it, it feels very strange to have this person that's been the head of everything in my life go the mcgrath family are from dublin and are on holiday in london well our two countries are, have been so close over so many centuries and we've had a tough past, but it goes without saying that she was an iconic woman and a role model for women of all ages and all uh, colours and beliefs. And uh, my mum has been a fan of the Queen for so many years. She was a fan of her, her integrity and she's very sad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we shed a tear today. 